It's been right nice to see folk so happy here in Glasgow. And I'm sure nobody will grudge them a celebration after all these years of hard work and anxiety. But for many a mother in the British Isles, this night must hold sad memories as well as joy. Maybe more sadness than joy for some. My man was in the artillery in the last war, and I mind the anxiety I suffered as a young wife. By 1939, when this war broke out, we had five boys of our own. The youngest just a wee chap of seven. So thank God, all he saw of the war was the Clydebank raid. But my other four boys joined up, and it's one of them, Roy, that I'm thinking of specially today. He was in his second year learning to be a doctor at the Glasgow University in 1939. He volunteered for the Black Watch and then got a commission in the HLI. Roy was killed in Italy. Another of my sons has been discharged from the Scots Guards with the loss of one of his legs. Strangely enough, a leg that kept him in the surgeon's hands for three and a half years when he was a laddie. So I join with other mo mothers of Britain in remembering our boys who have suffered death and wounds for their country. We will always remember them, what they were to us and are to us still. I am glad that because they fought and won, other boys are going to be spared the sacrifice that they have made. But I can't forget that the war is only half done. You see, I have another son in the Air Force in Southeast Asia Command, and my second youngest has just got into the fleet air arm. On this day of victory, I pray that soon the war in the East will be over too, so that with your sons, they will soon return to safety and peace at home. Until then, God keep them wherever they may be, by land or sea. <laughs>